What's going on guys, Combo here, and for this video, I'll admit, I'm probably going to come off as sounding petty or fanboyish or trying to fuel a console war, but after the PlayStation show and the news that followed, there's just some things I want to talk about, but firstly, I, I kind of want to speak about, about the event itself real briefly. Overall, it was a pretty good showing for me. Uh, I got what I wanted to see, which was really Demon Souls, if I'm going to be honest. I know a lot of people wanted to see Miles Morales. I haven't played Spider-Man 2018, I know I'm bad, but I really want to see Demon's Souls, that's, that's all I wanted to see, but overall seeing Call of Duty, um, I haven't, I wasn't interested in Modern Warfare, but for Black Ops, you know, Black Ops 1 was my personal favorite Call of Duty, so seeing Cold War in action, I'm kind of interested in getting that one day one, if not day one, within a certain time window versus skipping Modern Warfare like I did last year and still haven't played it. But we also got footage of new Final Fantasy 16 that's coming out and it's coming to PlayStation first, which has been rumored for quite some time, but now we're getting confirmation and uh, it, it looks interesting. I'm really getting like some heavier DMC5 or The Seven May Cry vibes from it than uh, was it Final Fantasy 15? I know they're really moving away from that. Uh, well, I mean, it's been a while since they moved away from the turn-based style of uh, combat, but Final Fantasy 16 is looking more and more like Devil May Cry, but speaking of Devil May Cry, and we also got footage of Devil May Cry 5 with Virgil DLC coming, but it's also the special edition for the next generation of consoles. So again, overall, I enjoyed the show and what we saw and what was shown. And we also got the price point for the PlayStation 5, which is going to be $4.99 for the disc console and $3.99 for the discless. And me personally, I'm going to get the disc version because I, I rather have disc, even though admittedly 90% of my uh, library is digital, at least the current gen library is digital. But I still want to have that disc there just in case, you know, I picked up the uh, collector's I think it was collector's a special edition for Final Fantasy 7 and you know I got all the fun things with that but I also got the disc so even if most of my games are digital I still like to have that option but I'm, I'm kind of ranting on about this part but as the title implies this video is gonna come off as rancy because after the show for the PlayStation event we got some news and the news is and I kind of want to this preface this earlier in the year xbox caught a lot of flag because they were saying that they wanted to support the xbox one generation of consoles for at least a year or two and a lot of people were talking about you're holding back next generation you're holding back next generation game design and then once june rolled around give or take playstation came out and said hey we believe in generations we want people to try to move to the next console as quickly as possible. This is why we're basically positioning these newer titles, Miles Morales and Horizon Zero Dawn, as well as Sackboy and a few others, as PS5 only games. Now the thing that kind of, I'll be honest, the thing that kind of annoyed me was constantly seeing people talk about how next generation game design is going to be held back. And for me, the whole term game design and held back was such a buzzword because people don't know what that means like what does it mean to be next generation we don't we don't know what it means game design wise people just use it as a, a way to fear monger like you want to get next gen game design w what does that mean am i missing out on well, like what's the feature that i'm missing i know ratchet and clan kind of showed an example with the ssd but for other games we don't we didn't get the example but anyway i'm kind of going off the topic Later, after the show was over, it was it came to be announced that Spider-Man Miles Morales, despite how they were labeling it, is going to be coming to the PS4. And it will also, with uh, Sackboy, with a little big planet, that's also coming to PS4. And there's also a rumor that, if not officially confirmed by, I believe, PlayStation Japan, is that Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West is also coming to PS4. And the news for that... I'll, I'll be I'll be honest, man. I was 
it, it was hilarious to me. And the, re the reason I found it hilarious was due to the fact of how people were just going on about, oh man, Spider-Man Miles Morales is going to take full advantage of the PS5 and all the Xbox games coming forward. It's going to be cross-generation. They're going to be awful because, you know, Xbox One is Xbox Series X is being held back. We're going to get true next-gen game design. But they're treating us like value customers. I'm just like, you don't know what that means. And lo and behold, apparently whatever you said was going to be next-gen game design, I guess it's no longer a thing because it's now on ps4 and it's it's just it's it's just funny to me how people are so quick to speak without knowing full information what they're speaking about and i'll be honest i make speculations myself and all that stuff but i, I try to avoid speaking with confirmation unless i know for certain what this or something entails so and i was going back in uh was it I was watching like with the for people know the RDX podcast with the Xbox guys. I know they're Xbox centric, but a lot of people were giving them flack because they're saying this game could run on PS4. You know, they're saying Spider-Man Miles Morales. What we saw so far was his better visuals, and people were calling them out. Oh, you guys are lying. You're spending false information. Apparently, they weren't because now it's coming to the PS4. And I'm guessing what they said could be turned off with ray tracing. That's what's gonna happen with the PS4 version. So it, it's just it's. Like I said, it's just hilarious how people were really just attacking Xbox because they were trying to, you know, offer people the option to like, hey, you don't have to upgrade right now. If you want to be able to play these newer games that's coming forward, there you go. They're on Xbox One and they're available there. You also got PC and uh, Game Pass and mobile, but hey, there's options. But at least when it comes to Xbox, like, I, I feel as though there's some media bias for this because I'm seeing some people say, oh man, PS4 is going to be supported? Oh, this is great. And not too long ago, Xbox is supporting uh, Xbox One and stuff, focusing on Series X. This is awful. And there was even points when people saw that was a fable and say the K3 would be Xbox Series X exclusive. And then they turned around and after complaining about cross gen, they're like, oh, so you're banning it now. I'm just like, you guys are just finding so many different ways to attack. Like, one moment cross gen is bad, another moment cross gen's good and it's the same thing with how people reacted with playstation cross chain was bad when xbox is doing it but now it's the greatest thing with playstation and yes i know some people are, are upset but me personally more people getting to play the game isn't bad for me as I, um as i mentioned before i don't know what next gen game design means specifically because it's just a lot of things can happen or a lot of different approaches so i don't know what i'm missing unless i see the game unless i'm in the game design room and people are talking about we could put this in the game but we can't because the ps4 then i can see but when people just say next gen game design is help after no solid examples of what the product they're talking about i really don't care for it and the last thing i kind of want to touch down on is with Miles Morales, I personally think the game looks very good. I know before we found out it was on PS4, people saw still images of Miles Morales and they're like, oh, this game is beautiful, man. This is what true, <laughs> this is what true next gen game looks like. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because it's not true next gen anymore, according to some people. But they were going on about this is a true next gen game and this is what you can expect visually. And then you see that it's cross-gen, but a plus for them is that it's still a beautiful looking game, in my opinion. So when I see something like Halo Infinite and how some people were starting to beat the horn or beat the drum of, well, we should probably drop the Xbox One because these visuals just aren't great. I, I'm, back then I was like, I really don't think they should drop the Xbox One. I feel as though this is up to the developer and they're probably just doing a poor job optimizing it based off of what's going on in the world. But a lot of people were saying, no, the Xbox One is to blame because they're not truly taking advantage of the Series X's power. And then you turn around and look at Miles Morales, which looks very good. Ray tracing. It had the visuals and the effects. And it's like, this game looks good. So for me, and I will say I'm not a game designer, so I can't speak. I'm not on the floor with them trying to build it. But for me, I feel like there's no excuse why Halo couldn't look as good as it could, at least from a perspective of you have the hardware and... You, you can't really blame the Xbox One. Again, this is just me speaking from my perspective. I'm not a developer, I'm not a designer, so I could be completely wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. But what I'm saying is that with the Halo situation, 
what we saw with Miles shows that you can get good visuals out of it. So with me going towards the PlayStation guys who are like harping about true next gen experience, and I'm looking more towards the Xbox guys who are, that were starting to say, oh man, drop the Xbox one because it's holding back the Xbox. No, in the end, PlayStation kind of just made everybody look stupid or certain groups look stupid. Another thing too is that I, I, I really don't know why PlayStation did what they did. You know, instead of just flat out being honest to say, hey, we're going to support the PS4 for the first two years, at least when it comes to major first party games, they positioned the marketing to be, oh no, we believe we believe in generations. Why would you say that if you're just going to announce that it's going to be cross-gen? Like, why? Why? You know, PlayStation, you guys had a fan base where people were going to buy your gener your console just because they love the ecosystem, just because they love the platform. They don't care if it's going to be on PS4 as well. A lot of people are just going to hop on it when they can. But for me personally, it, it kind of just comes off a bit disrespectful because they, to an extent, they basically just lie to the consumers and really put this bold face of like, yes, generation exclusive. Yes, yes, this is, we believe in it. And then you just turn like, actually, well, uh, you see those 100 million console users for the PS4 out there, uh, we want to make sure we help them too. But long story short, man, um, the show was pretty good in my opinion, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of the console. I personally don't know when I'm going to pick it up myself, uh, especially with the <laughs> game being sold out so quickly. But the show was pretty good. My, uh, Spider Man, Horizon, and Sackboy possibly coming to the all three coming to PS4 was a hilarious moment when looking back at all those people that swore up and down that these were true next gen games that just weren't possible on the PS4. And lo and behold, yes, they are. People are just saying next gen game design because buzzword and fear monger. But yeah, <laughs> in the end, uh, I, I just wanted to make this video kind of just getting it off my chest because, like I said, sitting there watching people going on about next gen game design without even knowing what that truly meant in practice outside of seeing Ratchet and Clank in action was a bit annoying to say the least. So, overall, decent show and uh, I think I'm going to kind of hear. Uh, if you're hearing like a weird echoey type of sound, recently moved to a new location and the walls are really bad at uh, bouncing sound off the walls. So, aside from that, uh, I think I'm gonna cut the video here. It is Thursday, so we're almost there to the weekend. So, I'll leave it here and thanks for watching. Uh, this is my first time asking, but if you like the video, you know, leave a like and uh, subscribe, you know, if you want. If not, that's cool. And also, just drop down below what you thought of the show if you watch it all the way through. Uh, if you watch the video all the way through, appreciate that. But let me know what you, your thoughts are with the event and news surrounding some PS4 games or some PS5 games coming to PS4 and just your overall thoughts and opinions on that below. So uh, I'm outie.